A Yucky Insect, a Miraculous Ladybug fanfiction written and narrated by Mira Rose. Now, it's no surprise for people who have been to this channel before, but I write a lot of fanfiction based around fan art. So I was browsing through Instagram and somebody shared this photo to their Instagram story and I was like, okay, I'll check this out. Haven't seen this artist before. And wha-bam, not only is Bubbly Washing Machine a artist, but also these two other gems weren't included in that post. And I'm just like, oh, girl, I have to write this now. So if you haven't already seen this lovely artist, Bubbly Washing Machine, there's a link to her in the description box. Go check her out and give the art the love it deserves. Now then, if you haven't already, don't forget to like this video and leave a comment to help the YouTube algorithm. If you don't know what to comment, put Lady Boo and Cat Nug. Now then, please enjoy a yucky insect. Peter Parker stared at his ceiling, trying to make sense of the dream he woke from. He'd been in a city, but it wasn't New York. No, it wasn't New York. The Eiffel Tower was there, but he wasn't sure he'd been in Paris either. Because not only had he never been to Paris, but because he was pretty sure the superheroes he'd met in the dream didn't exist. What were their names? Lady Boo and Catnug? He couldn't remember. It was odd, though, how distinctly he remembered Snapchatting about it. Rolling over, Peter checked his phone. But no, his story gave nothing away. It was, truly, a dream. But spiderwebs, it was so vivid. He could remember the feel of the breeze on his mask as he soared from one rooftop to another with the Parisian heroes beside him. The boy had great puns, much to the heroine's dismay. Peter couldn't understand why she had such a problem with them. He'd cracked up loads of times at the jokes. Where had their journey begun? He vaguely remembered something along the lines of soulmate ice cream and giant rock monster. <laughs> yeah, totally a dream. He wouldn't toss out the idea of the monster so easily, but ice cream for your soulmate? He was skeptical. Monsters he could get behind, though. Although some people would choose the opposite to Stan. But what was it that he'd laughed so hard at? He couldn't remember. He'd pulled his mask on and went out to take down the rock monster, as his ice cream order that he couldn't remember very well fell out of his hand and he saw two others join him. Well, actually, now that he thought about it, they tried attacking him until introductions were exchanged. The girl, Lady Boo, after much insistence that he didn't work for a guy named Hawk Muddy, mentioned something about her friend's comic book collection and his outfit. He didn't realize he was popular in France, too. Well, it was a dream, so scratch that thought. But then what happened? Oh yeah, there was that bug! Not the girl, but the actual bug! They'd made their way downtown as a trio, and he'd finally convinced the girl that he was a good guy, and they'd even taken a selfie together. But as the cat boy grinned, a bug flew in his mouth, and they had to pull over because he started freaking out. They must be great partners, because even though she sighed and facepalmed, she still rubbed his back as he freaked out and sputtered. Peter couldn't blame him, though. He knew what it's like to eat a yucky insect by accident and wasn't jealous. Ugh. Even thinking about it made him upset. Yuck! He was glad it was that guy and not himself, even if it was a dream. It was one of the factors that went into his suit design. Not only did his mask make him anonymous, but if you're going to zip through the air at fast speeds, you need a bug filter. Even Mr. Stark agreed on that one. The superpowers they used were interesting. Black Widow would surely appreciate the yo-yo gig that the girl used, but that wasn't even the most interesting thing of their fighting style. 
The destruction paw thing that the cat guy used was super awesome. Peter couldn't figure out the physics behind it, but surely Mr. Stark or Bruce would. He'd never seen anything like it before. Well, then again, it was a dream, so anything goes, including magic. May as well not mention it to the Avengers. And the way the girls' powers fixed the city... All of that damage and terror at the expense of a potential epileptic episode? Absolutely magical! Well, okay, it's a dream, so that's kind of the point, but still, imagine what a relief it would be. The city would call them heroes. There wouldn't be a vigilantes are good slash bad argument. He was a bit jealous of that dream world. Turning over on his mattress, Peter closed his eyes and tried to fall back asleep. Oh, Lady Boo and Cat Nugget. What strange names they had. Wait. No. It wasn't Lady Boo. The boy called her Bugaboo. That was it. Bugaboo and Cat Nugget. Yeah, that sounds about right. Perhaps the next dream would be more normal. Allowing himself to drift back asleep, Peter Parker found himself in another dream world, but, unlike his last adventure, it didn't come with red and black spots. If only he knew there were photos on his Snapchat that failed to post. Ugh, well. The miraculous work in mysterious ways, but there was no need to know that. At least, not for Peter Parker's storyline and not for Peter Parker's destiny. Thank you so much for listening. Once again, this story is based off of Bubbly Washing Machine's art. Go check her out. Link's in the description. If you haven't already, don't forget to not only subscribe to this channel for more miraculous ladybug fanfiction, but hit the bell to stay up to date for latest notifications. Now then... If you've made it this far, please hit the like button. I mean, I did entertain you this long. And leave a comment in support. If you don't know what to comment to help the YouTube algorithm, comment Bugaboo and Cat Nugget. I will catch you in the next one, folks. Bye!